Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's NG Paradox, of course. I mean, you should really know that by now. I mean, how many parts are we in now? Over 60, almost 70 parts. But yeah, I, maybe I should stop introducing myself. I'm not sure. I have to think about that. But let's get back into what's really important. Football, and of course, Bath City. At the moment, we're almost halfway through the season. And as you can see, we are sat in first place. Very nice to see that. Very happy with the team, but we're only three points away from falling out of those automatic positions. So all is not perfect at the moment, and that's just the table. If we have a quick talk right now, results the last month have been very frustrating, and we're having a possible crisis. Uh, a few injuries have happened, and in midfield we might be facing a little bit of a crisis, and we'll talk about that more in a second it's not yet but it could easily turn into that let's have a quick look at the last month though so you can see what happened it, it, it was not a fun month at all uh, last time we were here i think you guys saw us play against crew and we managed to lose one nil <sighs> not 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 a good result at all not what we wanted um, especially not in the league after that we played against exeter and we drew one all again after the loss from the the you know the the game before this is again not what i wanted and it could have been so much worse as you can see here exeter had 17 shots and we only had 10 they scored in the 91st minute and i i couldn't believe it. i was like are you actually kidding me but then our hero stuart richards scored one minute later, in the 92nd minute, it was just ridiculous. Two goals in extra time to just keep it a draw. So I was very happy we got the draw, but again, it wasn't really what I wanted. As you can see here, Stuart Richards is turning out pretty good. You know what? Stat-wise, I think he looks quite nice, you can see here. Um, three star rain at the moment still, not really improved much, but... I'm liking him. It says that he technically should be as good or better than Junior. But we, we know Junior is a freak of nature. Um, he doesn't work by normal human standards of skills. So uh, that, that, that star rating does not matter when you're concerning Junior. But very happy for Richards right now. He's doing very nicely. After that, we came up against Gillenham. Another game we really should be winning if we want to keep ourselves at the top of the table. And we drew again. I just, I didn't know what was going on. We just couldn't seem to win a game. And this one was frustrating for a few reasons. Stuart Richards scored the goal. We were out with a few players again. I'll tell you what, this entire month has just been a cluster, a cluster F. Um, sorry, I don't want to get hit by YouTube. Um, has this been a cluster F of problems when it comes to the injuries, especially in the midfield? You can see we had to play a 4-4-2. Because we just didn't have the right people. We had to play Wintle as a centre midfielder. We'll look into that a bit more in a second about what happened. But it's just been a ridiculous month. The fact we got these two draws probably means we were quite lucky. Or I guess unlucky with a quick look here. He got the first goal. Then they got a goal back. Then Monfi scored. Then they got a goal back with an own goal by Coddington. And this is one of those stupid goals where the ball is like next to the goalie. It's just sat there still. It's just sat still between the goalie and the post. I don't know what it is about 2017. I don't know if it still happens in 2018. But for some reason, goalkeepers can't pick up the ball when it's near their goal. Like, he want to pick it up and he just knocks it into his net. Why? I've seen that a few times and it just drives me crazy. So that got us a draw in that game. So I was kind of upset. After that, though, we came up against Barnett. Um, and this was the last league game we played. We managed to win, thankfully. We got a 2-0 win. We went back to our normal formation. We had some players back and stuff. Junior scored. Alubu scored. We can see here we thrashed them, basically. We were definitely the better team during that match. So very happy to get a win there. We need to be winning games to keep top of the table. I, I'm still surprised with the top of the table still. I mean... I'm guessing all the other teams around us are also playing really badly. This league is quite tight at the moment. And so everyone's performing poorly right now. 
After that, we played up in the FA Cup second round. We were up against Sutton United. Sutton United are a team in the league below us. This is a game we should really be winning. And that's exactly what we did. We got a 3-0 win. Ashton scored. Junior scored. And an own goal to finish it off. Very good game. So the last two games have been pretty good. But there's a few problems in the club itself. Um, when it comes to the FA Cup for the third round, we're up against Brighton. So that could be a difficult game for us. A bit upset as well. I think it's away. You know, that's not we, we want to see it at home so we can get all the money from the game. Uh, they've been stuck in the championship still, not like in real life where they popped up into the Premier League. So they're still going to probably kick our ass, but should be a fun game to see how well we do. Today, though, we're up against Telford. Now, we said before, obviously, Telford last season did really well with Grant Holt as the manager. Though afterwards he left, a lot of teams like me were trying to pick me up. They decided to go for him instead, basically, because I was rejecting everything that came for me. And so you can see they got a new manager, and it's not going so well. 15th for the moment in the league. They were predicted to come 16th, because you know, no one still thinks they're that good, just like Bath. So there you go. But today, this is a game we should be winning. We should be beating Telford this time. Really hope we can get it. Um, otherwise, in the club, I don't think anything particularly big has happened when it comes to the staff. Staff has been the same. Very good coaching staff right now. Let's have a quick look at the team. Uh, finances. Finances are, are still doing okay. Much better than last year, I have to say. But yeah, as you can see here, we've got kind of the same formation you'd normally see. Ashton's there at the moment. Cunningham and McKenzie. So really, it looks kind of normal right now. But have a quick look at this. Kuya is out for four to five weeks. So we've lost the midfielder. Billy Murphy is still injured for four to five months. He has a massive injury, and I'm not sure if he's going to come back from this. His uh, stats are going down. I'm a little bit worried this could be an injury that might completely take him out of Bath City, which I do not want to see. I don't want to see him leave. I want to see him stay, get the League One, be the captain. That's what Billy Murphy has to do. But it may be his time with this injury. We have to wait and see in four to five months. And that means right now we've only got two midfielders because you might have noticed Lee Cox is not here. Lee Cox got a very bad injury um, a while ago. So he was out for ages and he decided to retire. The injury was too much. It was a career ending injury apparently. And so Lee Cox just retired. So we haven't got Lee Cox either. He's completely left. So now we only have two midfielders who are actually fit and good enough in the entire squad. The next midfielder we have is Nicholas Jordan, who, uh, eh, you know what, he's not the worst thing to ever happen, but <laughs> he's not good enough. N nice hairdo, though. It's actually, his hair's bigger than his head. I mean, that, that can't be comfortable. That's, that's such a big, I mean, I've seen afros, but that is a big afro. Um, but yeah, so that's not good. So we've had to bring in Hawkins from our, uh, you know, kind of young players. He's 17 years old, but he's a, a left midfielder. He's not a centre midfielder. We haven't got any, and there's none on my scouting list that are free. So none of the ones we've scouted before on my shortlist are free as centre midfielders. So we're in a big problem right now. We need to try and just get through with these two until Kouye can come back. So we could be facing a crisis. So I'm a little bit worried right now. As long as these two are okay, I think these two can perform. Mackenzie and Cunningham, they're both new players, but I like both of them. You know, Cunningham has been getting better leaps and bounds. Look at him. Look how he's improving. And he's only 18. He is going to be really good. He could play in League One probably at least. So yeah, let's, let's jump into the game. Let's forget all the problems that have happened in the past. And uh, let's try and move on. Uh, think, let's not think about midfield. Let's just get on with the game and see what happens. Murphy, Leyland, there they are. Leyland will be taking off the captain's armband, doing a good job while Murphy has been out. That's all we can do for now. But let's go. And we're going to play standard. Not going to push them too hard. We know Telford can be good. But we're also away from home. So we don't want to go, we don't want to go too much into here. But I really need a win here. All the other teams around us, it's so close right now. One loss, and if they get wins, could throw you back down 
in the league. So we want to keep that number one spot. We have to keep it. Uh, Oluwu, though, I still can't believe how good Oluwu's gotten. Look at him. When we first brought him to the club, didn't think that much of him. Thought he might just end up being a backup one, but that he's been so good. Uh, let's be passionate. We own for what happened to last time. Yeah, they now no longer have Grant Holt. We can take them down, guys. This is their time to go and our time to shine. Nice, uh, ni it's a nice little stadium. You know what? That's not too bad. It's not too bad a stadium for you know little Telford. Um, here we go though. They are playing with the black shorts, I guess. We're kind of playing in a, a different color, but it's not that different. It might be hard to tell the difference, but they've got the dark shorts. We've got the light shorts. That's probably the best way to know who's on which team. Conton kicking the ball out, and he gets it to Wintle, gets it to Junior. Junior! <sighs> that is normally what I like to see. That start of play, I need to put it on extended. Ah, ah, quickly, quickly. No, not left panel. Extended. There we go. It's only been one minute. So I don't think we missed anything. Unless this has been an extremely exciting, you know, first minute and a half. And we missed some other stuff. Uh, Rudimar has got the ball. He kicks it down. Hippolyte. Is that, was it? I couldn't read his name. I didn't see his name in time, actually. Ashton, though, gets the ball. What's at, okay, that's the end of the highlight. Wimbledon are winning their game. They've gone ahead of us in the table. We've got a corner there. Nothing came of it. Ashton. Gets it back to Cunningham. Gets it down. Oh, that was a good ball by Cunningham to McKenzie. And then to Wintle, but not the best header. A nice jump. That was a really good leap there by Wintle. Didn't know he had that in him. But the head just went over the bar. We've now dropped down the third place. See, this is what I mean. Even with a draw here, it's just so close right now. We got way too many draws last month. And a loss, of course. So, last month, we dropped too many points imagine if we'd won like two of those games we could have gone pushing ourselves ahead of the rest of the pack to create a lot more space so i'm i'm kind of disappointed right now i'm still happy though that we're obviously being competitive that's what we just we just want to get the top three positions really oh oh look at that goal mckenzie i told you you can trust mckenzie he's a nice little player there i think he's underrated to be honest i think the game has underrated him um, the stats for him, sorry, the the stars for him, I don't think are correct. I think he's better than what the stars are saying. They're saying that Cunningham is better than him, but I think he's better than Cunningham right now. Cunningham will be better, probably. Nice little attempt, though, by Collins just to try and head it past Coddington, but wasn't meant to be. That puts us one point ahead of the other two teams. So, like I say, yeah, it's going to be... We need to go on a, a game-winning run, really, I think. If we want to try and cement ourselves in those automatic positions, we're going to have to get that. This is going to be an important month, I think, December, McKenzie. And we do know, actually, usually in January is our good month. So if we can have a good December, I, I mean, I'm feeling quite confident about January. I mean, I don't know why. It just always seems to work out for us. Um, Hippolyte gets the ball in, a good cross in. What were the defenders doing? None of them were on Russell Collins. And he gets a nice, simple... Tap into the goal. Not good enough. Not all. Uh, McKenzie gets a corner in. Okay, Cunningham and McKenzie again. Cunningham again. Got a yellow card right now. Junior smashes it over the bar. Tried to curl it in. You can see what he's trying to do, but he sometimes just hits it with too much power. Sometimes. Headed there. Couldn't get the ball. They've got the ball right now. Dangerous there, but Coddington managed to punch the ball over. Good job, Conton. Hansen. I, you know, we can't blame Conton for the first goal. That was completely a defender's fault, so you can't really blame him for that. Ah, frustrating as you another possible draw. Very frustrating right now. That was a good first half. Uh, you've been unlucky so far. I'm gonna go with nope, didn't didn't work at all. That was not good. Guys, you've been unlucky. You can do this. And they didn't care. Samido, go on, get... Okay. Did, Samido, did you see their cross in the first half? Y yeah, your cross was not like that. You need to, you know, maybe take some notes. Wintle now. We know Wintle can do stuff. Junior! Oh, he's... Uh, he scored so many goals, like, every season. 
that, you know, I keep thinking to myself, every position he's in, I'm like, he normally scores those, and he doesn't. I'm like, am I disappointed? Because normally he would score from that sort of thing, but then he doesn't, and you're like, ugh. But maybe it's just because, you know, he scores so many goals. He scored basically in every sort of way he could. Oh, good little tackle there. Luckily, Coddington managed to just grab the ball. That could have been really unlucky if he just you'd gone into the, the goal or something. Junior, this is a perfect thing to see here. And what is going on today, Junior? What is it? He can't seem to kick the ball into the goal. Bowler gets the ball. If he does that again, I'm going to have to take him off. I'm going to have to take him off for uh, Richard because we can't accept that at the moment. Ashton, we've not seen much from Ashton today. Mackenzie Wintle. Wintle gets to the junior. Samido. Samido Cunningham. Gets to Mackenzie. Junior. Oh. I mean, at least it was on target. I mean, at least it was on target. You know, I can give him that. Uh, Mackenzie over the corner. Gets it in. No one's really there, but oh. Almost got the ball on the floor there. Cunningham's talking to I'm sorry, Cunningham. We have no one <laughs> We have no one to swap you with. There's no midfielders. I'm sorry. I can't make a formation with the rest of the players that I've got either. Ashton was surrounded. He didn't react quickly enough. I'm gonna have to take off Junior. I don't think it's working for him today. Richard is gonna come on. Advance forward. Uh Winter I none of these guys I think have been good at all. I'm going to take off Samida. I don't think he's performed well at all. He's motivated, but I just don't think he's performing. So I'm going to bring on Hunter for him. I need to take off Cunningham, but I have no one that can go there. I could bring Wintle back. Actually, that's probably a good point. Let's bring Wintle back. I have to, it has to be advanced playmaker. That's really the only thing he can do. And then Bob Bruce can go there. But then Bob Bruce likes advanced playmaker attack, so he can't really do that. Deep line play. Okay, just... Rin Wintle, just trust me, just try. Just try, you know. Cunningham also had a yellow card. We can't risk we can't risk one of our only two midfielders getting suspended. That would just drive me crazy. I would have to just do what we did last like a four four two. And I I don't think it suits us personally. Richardson though for them. They could try and get the win here. And there we go. Rudemar smashes the goal. <sighs> Are you kidding me? The last game we saw, how is this going so well at the beginning of the season? I feel it's just all these injuries and stuff. What is this? So well, the first half, the most of this first half of the, the first half of the first half of the season was incredible. We were doing so well. We never start off well in our seasons. And now though, it just seems to have fallen apart. We can't seem to beat most of the teams. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, Richards, do something. Okay, Hunter, Hunter, you, okay. End of highlight, fine, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to go overload. We have to grab a goal here. We've got new players on with fresh legs at the attacking positions. We need to go overload and try to get a win here. Obviously, if we do lose, I'm still third. So, you know, we're still in an automatic promotion position, but we're two points behind first place again. Still means we're competitive, but I still don't like. I don't like how we've been looking form-wise the last month. It's not been good enough, and it's starting to worry me, especially with these injuries. And we don't have enough midfielders right now. It's annoying. I had enough midfielders at the start of the season, but they've all got damn well injured, and then you know we lost Lee Cox because he decided to retire because injury was so bad. Ugh. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, just doing my manly. Sometimes you gotta let those out, or they build up inside you. Collins, okay, here we go. Leyland, Coddington. Someone grab a last-minute goal here. Richards, we know you can do that. We know you can grab a last-minute goal. Mackenzie, get the ball. There's been no good highlight in this highlight, so this is probably our chance. This could be the last opportunity. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. I brought you on to be a hero. And you mess. Wintle doesn't know the play in midfield, does he? Look at that. Do you see that? Wintle just. He's confused. He's like a lost puppy. He's like, what, what, what do I do? What is this? I'm like a little further back than normal. How do I play here? It's impossible. Okay. Kelly. Oh, Kelly couldn't get the ball there. Good tackle there, but 
We need a highlight for us. And that could be it. No, the highlight's going to continue. This could be an opportunity then. McKenzie kicks the ball out, but they've still got the ball. We need to grab this ball. Yes, yes, Wintle, Wintle, run. There you go, Wintle. Do something. There you go, Richards. Richards got the ball. Get it to... Oh, he's not got much help there. Oh, and they tackle him. Now they're going for the counterattack. There's one minute left. Don't you dare... I I mean, if he'd scored, I guess it wouldn't really made a difference, really. It just destroyed all hope. Um, but there's only 45 seconds left, so hope basically is gone. But it's still, it's still a little bit there. It's still a little bit there. Hunter. Uh, why did I bring Hunter? Hunter obviously is not good enough anymore, I don't think, sadly. It's a shame. He had a really good season in your last season. But maybe this is just one season too many. Are you kidding me, Ashton? You... Put it in the back of the net, but you're offside. I'm sorry. No, 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 they're not unfortunate. You just suck. I'm far from pleased. You have to improve, guys. This is not acceptable. We have to be fighting for that first place position. We were doing so well. We need to go ahead of the pack, not fall back into the pack. Look at that. Three points, and we could fall out of the playoffs even. That's all right now. How did it become this? How did our seat... Look at that. Look, first. First for so long. We were first for so long, and then just dropped. Ugh. Oh, well. Uh, we'll have to just keep fighting. We'll keep moving forward. Uh, next game, we got Plymouth, Oldham, Cambridge. Some tough games, actually, from them, too. Uh, then we'll be back next time against Ebb's Fleet. I hope you join me. Please don't let this be a disappointing season. I need to get promoted this season. We've done so well last season. We did so well this season. I just I can't think of anything but that. We'll keep going though, and I'll hope you keep keep joining me. Please do not let these disappointments put you down. We can still do it. We're still in there. It's still all to play for. All the marbles. I'll see you then.